Alright guys, this morning we're cutting Blue Mountain Lodge Lake and River Table. Uh, Lauren here from uh, Blue Mountain Lodge and we're just uh, planning out the the big Blue Mountain Lodge table and it's going to be a stunner. Let me just give you a quick run now. So we've got this river running out through here. What's the name of this one? Mulberry. All the south side edge is going to be filled with all the stones uh, that come from the actual rivers and that's going to be pretty cool. And then over here it uh, braids off and we're going to have this all braided. Also, what else have we got? Over here we've got a big lake, uh, the Blue Mountain Lake, and this is going to be blues, is it? We're yep. going to go for some blues. Lots of blues, lots of bright blues. What have you got there? Uh, this is a pair of blades that we use to share the sheet. We're going to sink one of those into We're going to sink it into the table. Yeah, that'll look awesome. So do you want it about there? Yeah, that'll look really cool. This is uh, Blue Mountain Lodge and uh, Jahan is using the uh Once we got a fair way into this build, I wasn't really happy with it so we ended up taking it back out to the router room planning it off, sanding it back, and then putting it into our new uh, HTP mold. So the video of this build will continue from this point. Okay guys, Blue Man and Lodge project. Uh, just gonna fill up the lake now. Or well, part of the lake, gonna fill up part of the lake with some uh, cobalt blue glass. And then, um, yeah, we'll be looking good. Starting to feel like Groundhog Day around this place. Anyway, um, this is the Blue Mountain Mold. And uh, just finishing a couple of touch-ups. Drop it in the mold this afternoon again. And um, pouring tomorrow. Blue Mountain Lodge table. We've got this nice big uh, uh, glass lake here, which is uh, forest green, blues, and a uh, bit of clear. And I'm just going to put in a uh, combination of uh, blue-green uh, pearlite resin, and um, yeah, just see how it, just see how it uh, pans out and how it looks. So that'll give me an idea of how how I'm going to pour my sides. <laughs> So um, what we're doing here 
uh, just all alone. It's wild, so she's hot in here today. It's got me concerned. We're gonna have to get some more chili units in. I thought you said she was hot. I thought that's what you said. The resin room's hot, yes. The client's hot, but the resin room is hot. Okay, it's just clarifying, Paul. That's all, mate. Mate. Um, I, honestly, you should listen to what you said, mate. Okay, bud. Okay. Right, so, then. anyway, uh, just gonna tone it down a bit so we don't want too much of that um, really blue or the green glass showing through. So, I'm just going over and putting in some more clear. And then that's just going to um, tone it out a bit for when we do our next layers. Now the effects on the resin, um, they look like this now but they'll change and they keep changing throughout the curing process. Okay guys, it's uh, 2 a.m. It's going to be a really, really, really long day. This is uh, Blue Mountain. And I'm just starting to uh, go through and do the effects layers now. Lots of layers to go. We've got waterfalls running off here. Um, two more effects layers to go and then uh, we'll be doing the final deep cast. Yeah, hey guys, Blue Mountain Lodge. Uh, just had the final pour. Rivers are looking absolutely stunning. Coming to the Mowbray River. Bleeds off into uh, Blue Mountain Lake. And we've got the Orari River here. Comes along. Branches off and goes down into St. Rapids. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so today is a huge, huge day on uh, Blue Mountain. So uh, we're just about to do some real severe grinding and sanding on the far side. Uh, the top has already been done down to about 600 but I've had to do a few repairs so I'm going to go over the whole thing again with 400 and redo it. Um, just on this outside edge and she's come up absolutely stunning. So this has been uh, sanded through to about three, four thousand and then um, highly polished. So um, uh, cut, cut polish actually and then um, then tomorrow just before it goes we will uh, we'll give it the final the final big push. Well, I don't like this. Yeah, just, just plant it. Just plant it. What's going to get it fucking stuck, bro? Oh, that didn't go first. Yeah, right in here, yep. Right in there? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that, mate. Not for me, eh? This isn't a four wheel drive, it's a fucking truck. Stuck. 
always stuck. Thank you. 